and welcome back everyone now if you watched my videos before you know i don't mess about i want to get straight into it to get you up and running so that's what we're going to do today this is the main window home and i'm using the free version that gives me 300 minutes a month now if you get the business version it's a lot better you can collaborate create your own workspaces share meeting notes transcription interviews lectures choices endless really and the other good thing about this software we're on the right here is you can actually sync it to Google Calendar, Microsoft Outlook, or even Zoom meetings. Or even copy them here, actually. So you've got a Zoom meeting. What it's do, it'll record it, transcribe it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Zoom transcribes anyway, so there's Teams and that. So much easier to annotate information, add comments, and organize it while you're in a meeting as well. I'll show you that in a minute as a demonstration. So what this software primarily does is it transcribes for you and organises meetings, lectures and interviews or anywhere where you need to record information. Now top right hand corner, that's the record button. Obviously it's going to use your default mic so it's up to you whether you use an external one. You can paste your information in there for example for a meeting and then on the right hit the record button and off you go. Also, tap off there, you can import. So you've recorded something via your phone or dictaphone. There's your option. Click import. You can upload it. And you see in the middle there, you can choose those formats. So that should cover most of them. And close. On the right here, as I said here, you can link to a calendar or even Zoom meetings. So I'll let you play around with that because you need to log in with your own details as well. So you see here it says one click to record any event or meeting from your calendar. Just click on it and forget about it. You know you've got the full transcription to work with. On the left, we have a mini drop down options at the bottom here. I'll show you them in a minute. We have home where we are now, my conversations, none. Because I haven't done any. I've only used 11 minutes bottom left here out of my free 300 for the month. Shared with me, well, I've not connected or collaborated with anyone. So I've got zilch at the moment. Now, apps. Again, this is entirely up to you how you want to use and work this. If you use Slack, fire away you can add it there and you can connect to an otter workspace and then you can invite contact share conversations and get notifications so again i'm talking about the word communication and collaborating a great option all these though i think are paid options so double check that zoom i tend to use zoom you can upgrade to sync cloud recordings if you wish to your otter account and again live notes in the browser so that's great for transcription highlights of meetings and webinars you host dropbox Again, you can upgrade to Dropbox and then you've got your Google Calendar and Contacts and Microsoft Word Calendar and Contacts. We've got a few options up here you can change for your plan, example, security in general. So I'll let you have a look at them yourself. Next is more. All conversations will be your transcription notes or anyone that sent you anything will be listed there. But again, I've done nothing yet, so nothing is listed. Click more, you can even trash conversations if you wish. It'll be listed here and you can delete what you don't want. Now, these three options here, channels. If I click channel, you can create a channel and invite specific people via email to that channel. So I'll give you an example. You could be in a meeting with a couple of people, for example, and you're recording away, but you've also sent an email to other people you want to collaborate or join the meeting. So what they see is a transcription going on from the people speaking within that meeting and you can also they can collaborate with your information so you could highlight information if you want they can you can add comments and notes and stuff so you really organize what's going on in a meeting by the way you can also export these later you've got something called takeaways like little snippets i'll show you that quickly as well and then you just pop the emails in there if you wish so the demonstration i'm just going to type in there meeting one I'm not going to actually invite anybody and click create. But if I did, I'll show you in me on the right, it would show up. So this window pops up. Now, remember what I said earlier, you could always paste your URL there for a meeting if you wish. But I'm going to select record and click OK. Now we're ready to go. And as I'm speaking, you can see it's picking up what I'm saying. Now, you probably notice I've got a bit of a London accent. So we see how that picks up anyway, but so far so good as I tend to drop a lot of vowels. Now on the right is the important bit, because if you're sharing and collaborating with those emails, they will show up here and they can see exactly what's going on with the transcription in the middle there. So they can work with it with you as well. 
So you might, I'll just click this as an example. You can type here. I might just type in there, for example, how are you? And there you go. And then you get someone pop up and say, doing well, thank you, or whatever. So you can type your information in there as well. Now, if I come to the right, well, I can even copy the message and I've clicked the three little dots. I can remove question and answers, or I can even copy the link there if I want as well. So as you see, it's still dictating and going well. Now, what I'm going to do quickly to show you this is I'm going to come up here and I might go, oh, that's quite interesting. I need to send that to one of my colleagues. So I'm going to highlight it. So that little box that pops up, I've got highlight, comment, action item. That's when you want someone to do something. You can add an external image and you've also got to copy. So I'm just going to highlight that green information done. Now on the right, can you see where it's come up here? Takeaways. So it's going to stick. Well, I, I like to see them as snippets, really, but they see them as takeaways. So that way you can highlight information quickly and pass it on to anyone else that's joined. So I might go again. Yeah, I'm going to highlight that and they can see this information and work with it as well. If I hover over it, you can see you might add a comment to that. And you see how you're integrating everything as you're working in real time. Now, if I come down here, I might highlight that bit of information there just randomly, and that box will pop up. I've got an option that's got comment. That I'm going to tap on. So I could add a specific comment. So I might put in there, get it done, and click little arrow. And you see the information on the right there coming up as a takeaway option. Again, if I highlight a bit more information, we've got an option here, action item. Now, this is when you want someone to do something specifically. So if you remember earlier, you could invite people via email and that will list underneath. And that way you could put in, for example, get it done now. I won't add that, but that's how you work it. And that way you can then send that. Also, if I come down and highlight a bit of text there, I've got an option where you can add an image. So I'm just going to add any image here as a demonstration. That would do. Me dog. Now I'm going to scroll down. You can see you can add images that might be relevant to that meeting. Could be a slide even, couldn't it? It could be a PDF, could be absolutely anything you're working with. Now I'm still recording underneath, so if I click the arrow, it takes me down. Okay. So again I can highlight again. And I've got an option here where I can actually copy that manually. I might go, right, I just want to copy that quickly. And I want to paste it into, for example, someone's contacted me, could be there, I could reply quickly and send it. So it's a great way to work in real time. You've got those options down here as well. Look, can you see highlight, comment, action item, and add image. Now I can pause or stop. So I'm going to select the stop button. Perfect. And what it does here, you can see it says processing. So let that work away processing. Now up top here, there's little cog channels. Now if you create a channel you don't want, just click the three little dots and you can delete the whole channel. Or you could add additional members by clicking the plus add member option at the bottom there as well. Right, I'm going to open it. And you can see now I've built up all that information. Now, can you see at the top first? Shared with meeting one, summary keywords. Now, it's hard to put out keywords that might come up a lot. So I might go to collaborating. And you can see it jumps straight into that transcription of collaborating. Keywords can be handy depending on what you're doing to jump to information quickly. And then underneath, you can see I've got three highlights. I can tap on them on the right. And I've added some comments there. You can see all my comments and one image. So you can, and the image is here. And you can see you can break down the information quickly and effectively. Now, what I want to do is come top right. It's got a summary option. Now, if I click on it, I haven't done a lot of dictation there. But what this would do, use AI, artificial intelligence, to create a summary for you. And here you can see where I've added this and I've added this information here. Now, again, if we click the edit button, you can edit that information if you wish or click the drop down menu as well to see them both there bullet pointed. So again, it's up to you when you use the summary option if it works for you. So there you go. That's the first option. So what I'm going to do then is come back out of there and go to my conversations where it is now listed here. I can tick it here if I want. I can share, export, move, or delete. So if I actually export, I well, actually I've got a free version, haven't I, bottom left, where I'll get 300 minutes free for the month. But if I didn't, I'd have the option to send to Microsoft Word, 
portable document format or SRT if you use that. So that's another great option. So I'm going to leave it on text. I can choose where to speak names, show timestamps of the times that the dictation was done. Also, do I want the takeaways? Yes, I do. That was those little snippets, I call them. Text format, and I can even export the audio as MP3. And select export. Bottom left-hand corner, open it up. We've now got the zip file, the audio files. But if I actually tap on the note, there's a note with your snippets and information comments to work with. So another great option to get about organising stuff. Now, what I want to do quickly is... I want to come down to these three options here. So that was channels meeting. This will be direct messages. So someone might direct a message to you due to someone else, and that will show up for your emails and information and there. Now folders. Plus, really important you organize all your transcription meetings or lectures. So let's put meeting one and select create. Now again, I've gone to the same window as before, but this time I've not shared my email. I just might want to record something from YouTube, uh, maybe an external, maybe something online. So what I'm going to do is pull this over to the right. We've now got on the left. I just pulled up this lecture or whatever it is just randomly, and I want to record it using this. So what I'm going to do is select record and play. Applied theory. Um, but there's a great danger in supposing that every aspect of theory has an immediate application. Theory is very often a purely speculative undertaking. Uh, it's an hypothesis about something the exact nature of which one needn't necessarily have in view. It's a supposition that uh, whatever the object of theory might be, it must, owing to whatever intellectual constraints one can imagine, be of such a form. And at this level of abstraction, plainly, um, there isn't all that much uh, incentive to apply thinking of that kind. But on the other hand, on so I'm going to pause that, and I'm going to actually stop this. I'm going to maximize it. So at the bottom, click stop. So you can see, as I was actually listening, I was then working with the transcription notes. So if I open it up at the top, and you see we have highlighted information, and again on the right, you see the information here, where I've added. You've got your takeaways information, which is your notes, your highlights, comments, and action items. So again, it's just a great way. Remember afterwards, you can click into it as well. I'm going to pause that. And they're going to place it back again for you. So that way you can go back over the information to work with if you wish. Now I come back to the left, I've got meeting one, tap on it. Now I've got my notes there for meeting one, so I could tap on that. Now I can carry on working with that, but if you don't want it, I've got an option, go top right first. You can move it, export it rematch speakers or sync text to audio if there's an issue or even delete it so i can export that again using the export option i showed you earlier or if i go to the top edit conversation i'm going to tap into that and work with it if you wish as well so what i'm going to do is go to my conversations anything you don't want on the right three little dots delete and select OK to tidy it up. So there's a really fast, quick overview of using otter.ai. There's a lot more to it, but that should get you up and running. Thanks for watching.